how much is apartment rent compared to Boston? Was it easy finding your apartment? This next question is a good one. It's what neighborhoods are best to live in and which should I avoid moving to? Hey guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Um, today I'm doing a Miami Q&A, which I've been asking you guys if you want to see one of these and a lot of you guys said yes because I know most of you probably have found my content through searching like Miami vlogs or what it's like to live in Miami or move to Miami and just a little background, I moved to Miami from Boston a year ago and I'm 24 years old. Wait, yeah, oh, okay, I'm turning 25 for a second. I was like, wait, am I 24? No, okay, yeah, I'm 24. I'm turning 25 in January, but I moved to Miami on my own last year and I came from Boston and everything I organized myself, the whole move, I'm finding the apartment, everything like that. So um, a lot of people reach out to me and they ask questions because they're also moving to Miami from another state. So I'm gonna answer some of your questions today. I asked you guys on, Instagram and on my last video and so you guys sent me some questions so I picked the most common ones and I'm gonna answer those for you guys right now okay so my first question is was it easy finding your apartment and yes and no I toured apartments back when I was visiting Miami a couple months before I moved here and I was touring like two bedroom apartments because I thought that I wanted to have a roommate just because it'd be cheaper to split the rent and then when I was home in Boston, I was like really thinking about it. I was like, you know what? I really wanna live alone. I would rather just have a studio and do that instead. So I didn't fly back to Miami. It was in the middle of the pandemic. And so I just looked online. I actually went on apartments.com. On apartments.com, you can put in different filters for different neighborhoods and different price ranges. So basically I like put my price range for, you know, nothing more than I think it was like 1600 at the time. Um, and just so that I could see studios and things that were in my price range and that's how I ended up finding my building because That one was one of the ones that came up on the search and it was in the area that I wanted So when I came here actually to the building It was the first time that I was seeing the place on the day of moving I saw the pictures and everything before I came and actually they were nice enough to FaceTime me And show me the unit that I was signing the lease for since I wasn't able to see in person So that was really nice. I was able to kind of see what I was gonna get into but once once I did actually move here, um, the apartment that they gave me was on like a lower level floor and it was kind of dark just because the sun wasn't like coming in. And so that day I was like, do you have any other apartments? Like, don't hate me, but do you have any other apartments that I can like move into instead of this one? And actually they moved me up some floors. So now I get like better lighting, but yeah. So it was pretty easy for me overall. This next question is, did you use a moving company? And yes, I used a moving company. I used Budget Van Lines, which I think is like a contractor, that's what they call it. They have all different companies that they find the best rate for you. I used them and they charged me about 2,000, I think. It was like 2,000 for them to move my stuff from Boston to Miami, because I moved all my furniture and all my belongings. Um, and it took about two weeks time frame for it to get down here. So yeah, that was kind of stressful because I wasn't sure when the stuff was gonna come. They basically just give you an estimated time of arrival date. So once I moved here, all my stuff was still not here. Like the moving company came about three or four days after I'd already moved in. So I was without my furniture and stuff for a while, but I did have like an air mattress. So that was good. Okay, this next question is a good one. It's what neighborhoods are best to live in and which should I avoid moving to? This is a personal opinion question, of course, but for me, I think the best places to live in Miami are Brickle, Midtown, and Edgewater. Um, those are all on the city side of Miami, so not on Miami Beach. But like I said, this is totally just my opinion, but those areas are like the cleanest and the safest areas, has lots of shops, lots of restaurants. Everything is mostly walking distance if you live in those areas. And um, overall, they're just like a safe area to be. There's not a ton of tourists in this area versus if you live on South Beach, you're gonna have a lot of people that are just on vacation there. And sometimes I feel like when they're on vacation, they act a little bit more reckless. Um, but again, with South Beach, there's different parts. So you can stay on Ocean Drive where it's like very touristy, like that's the area that 
everyone goes on vacation or you can stay on different parts of South Beach which are more uh, residential so it definitely depends but in my opinion it's Brickell, Midtown and Edgewater okay next is what is the weather like in the winter so I've only been here for one winter so far but it was pretty good like obviously compared to Boston it's so different but the coldest it probably got was like 55 degrees and the most that I was wearing for like a jacket was like a sweatshirt and like leggings so it's not like unbearably cold and obviously there was no snow but it definitely gets down there to like 55 and I would say when it gets that cold it still feels like holiday time um, I was nervous that it was just gonna feel like summer all year round but you know they start to come out with winter drinks and decorations and everything still so it does still feel like the winter time but it's pretty bearable and I kind of liked having it colder some days just so I could wear like leggings and stuff okay so let's see how far away is Brickell from South Beach? So from Brickell to South Beach, it's about a 15, 20 minute drive. Sometimes there's traffic, but basically there's just a bridge right over Brickell that connects to South Beach. But the bridge is like, I think it's like two or three miles. So that's what takes the longest is just driving over the bridge. But once you get over the bridge, um, you're just there. So it's a pretty straightforward drive, just like one way to get to South Beach from Brickell. What are the most popular cuisines in Miami? So in my experience, there's tons of Latin food. I don't really know, like I'm probably the wrong person to ask because I don't eat out a lot. Like the things that I eat are like very basic. I probably eat mostly American food to be honest. Um, and I go to like a lot of like healthy cafes. So I don't even know what type of food that's considered American maybe. There is lots and lots of Mexican food, like everywhere you can get tacos and quesadillas and there's just like so many good restaurants for that. But I'm probably not the best person to ask that question, but that's my answer. What is the music scene in Miami? So this is a pretty good question because obviously Miami is very entertainment based. Um, I would say that the two that stand out the most is like hip hop and rap and then Latin. I personally love hip hop and rap so I like the music usually whenever I go out to bars or clubs. They have on like urban music which is good because that's my style. Um, but yeah, those are the two that are very popular in Miami. Okay, next question. Is it just hot or is it humid too? Okay, it's humid. Like today was so humid. I walked outside and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be going outside today. The humidity is pretty bad some days, I would say, but not every day. Like some days there's like no humidity. I'm like, oh my God, this is such a nice day. Like it feels really comfortable outside. So not every day is super humid, but I would say, especially in the summertime, majority of the days it's pretty hot and humid. So the next question is for some of my up north people. How much is apartment rent compared to Boston? So it's actually cheaper here and you get way more bang for your buck than you do in Boston. I was recently looking at an apartment in Boston just for fun and it was $2,600, which is $1,000 over what I have in Miami. And my apartment in Miami is bigger and it comes with parking. So that's like huge because there was no parking in Boston for that apartment. So the rent is definitely cheaper in Miami, but it is still kind of pricey like compared to other areas like Brickell would be more pricey and recently the prices just went up because everyone's moving to Miami so the prices just like recently skyrocketed so I'm probably staying in this apartment for a while because I don't want to pay like a crazy price for a different apartment if I can be locked in at this price but it's definitely different and you get more bang for your buck like I was saying is it easier to drive in Boston or Miami this one I had to answer because this is like a huge part of Boston and Miami in Miami I feel like people drive pretty crazy on the highway like they're really reckless and I oftentimes feel like people don't know the rules of the road like if you're on a four-way stop I think some people don't know like it's whoever stops first at the stop sign gets to go like I don't think people really follow the rules of the road as much here in Miami um, but I know Boston is pretty crazy with traffic and so is Miami actually but I would say driving is easier in Boston but then again maybe it's just because I've lived in Boston my whole life. Also, the highways in Miami are just like super big. Like instead of just three lanes like Boston has, they have like five or six lanes at a time, which just freaks me out. And I just would stay in the right lane. <laughs> Second to last question, what do you like about Miami better than Boston? Um, I talked about this a little bit in one of my last vlogs, but really what I like is just the lifestyle here. It's just so much more relaxed. I feel like Boston people are stressed. They're really work focused and 
in Miami, people just want to have a good time and like people are relaxed and they want to enjoy life and they're not as in a rush and like there's not as much stress here. That's just what I like about Miami because that's a lifestyle that I'm drawn to. Um, but I love both Miami and Boston. Okay, my last question is favorite and least favorite part about Miami. So my favorite part about Miami would have to be the warm weather, number one. Um, it just makes me happy to be in warm weather and have sunshine most of the time. And then second would just be like the lifestyle like I was saying before. I really just love the luxury lifestyle that Miami has to offer and everything is just super like nice and new and maybe that sounds materialistic but I really like being in that environment and I just like the mindset that people have here in Miami. And then my least favorite thing about Miami would definitely be the humidity because like my hair I'm so used to having just such like naturally nice hair but if I wear my hair out wet in Miami like it'll just turn into a poof so that's not super cute and then my other least favorite thing would probably be like the expectations that people have that you want to like party all the time I don't know how to put that into words but like People just expect like, oh, you wanna go out all the time, which no, not everyone does. And like, I'm one of those people. For a time I did go out for a while and now I've kind of like chilled and like, like to stay home and stuff. But I feel like people just assume you wanna party all the time or like whenever they invite you out, it's always something to do with partying. And like, I like to do things casual sometimes. So that's like one downfall, but I know obviously coming here, I was like gonna get into that. And when I first moved here, I thought I was gonna be into that all the time because I visited Miami so many times and like all I did was party really. Now I've just kind of adjusted into my own lifestyle. So I do that only occasionally, but people do that all the time. So sometimes you're like, can we do something else other than like go out to the bar club? And yeah. So yeah, that's all the questions that I have for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. Hopefully it kind of gave you a little bit more information on moving to Miami or living here. And if you guys have any other questions, if you didn't get to ask a question, then just leave it down below in the comments because I'll answer it there for you too. And if you're not subscribed, then subscribe to my channel. I do Miami vlogs, so I post a lot about just like living in Miami and showing my day-to-day -day life and other lifestyle type of content. So thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.